yeah, just another Dougie quick tip. So you know how these bags get filthy dirty, right? And most people wouldn't think of cleaning them or how to clean them, right? I use purple power. So I spray the bag down. Uh, for the bags, I use 100% strength purple power. You spray the bag, you get your soapy water and you get a brush like this and it scrubs right out. Now, if you're using purple power on something like paint or even on engine blocks, <clears throat> it's good to mix it 50-50 because this stuff will fade paint badly. At 50-50 mix, it's not too bad. On a bag though, 100% is fine. I buy the big five gallon jug of it because I use it throughout the year and it usually lasts about a year. So I get the five gallon jug, but this stuff works awesome. You can also use this in the ultrasonic cleaner for cleaning carburetors, but this stuff is very hard on aluminum. I found simple green to be better for the ultrasonic cleaners. But for when it comes to these bags and stuff, and for like greasy engine blocks, nothing beats purple power. Just a quick tip, scrubbing it right now. I'll show it when it's done. Although technically it's still gonna be wet, so it's not gonna look perfect, but once it dries, it'll look gleaming white brand new again. All right, the top was scrubbed. Let's rinse it off. Yeah, it's gone. There it's gone. See, that's pure clean now. Now, when I do the inside a little bit too, it'll make it even better. But that just goes to show it gets every little morsel of dirt out fast. All right, so it's a little bit hard to tell right now because one, it's dark, and two, it's still wet. But tomorrow, once that's dry, that's gonna look like a nice, fresh, white bag now compared to how you saw it before. Like all those stains that were on the top, they're gone. The sides are gonna look like that too. So, other than the fact it's got a patch on the back there, but you know, it's in the back, it's in a hard to see spot, so we're good. It's odd how it came out on there sideways. When I put it on, when it was off the mower, it was straight, but I guess once it settled in, it's it's sideways. I guess it would have been a little bit better if it was straight up and down, but the, it don't matter. It's in the back, it's patched. Even after washing it, see, it didn't come off of there. It's not gonna come off of there. Uh, it would have been done now. I, I could have put the shine to it and been done right now. Unfortunately, I still have to touch up here. And it was a couple other minor spots. I think I have a, a little tiny, like, makeup brush paint that matches for these little spots. Yeah, like right here. Here, here, here. And then the biggest one's right here. That I'll hit with the spray can. I'll, I'll hit that with a wire brush first and then hit with the spray can. Let it dry, let it shine. She'll be ready for sale tomorrow afternoon. Like I said, if it didn't need paint work, it'd be ready right now. I would have hit it with the shine and taken pictures first thing in the morning because we're a little bit past dusk now. So, I mean, well, the way it's filming, it still looks good. In fact, yeah, in fact, I'm going to take a couple pictures of it at this angle right now. But that was just my quick tip on the how to wash the bags, how I wash the bags. But she's just about ready to go. Good mowers. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.